How's it going, everybody? Arthur Reyes here, winners and winners.com. And today we have one XFL. Yes, we're talking about the XFL today. We have one game of theirs on the Saturday, uh, uh, March 10th, 2023 slate. Before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys quickly about a promotion we are running over at Winners and Winners, where you guys can save 70% off on all of my packages until further notice with the promo code 70EVAREY. We're now 30 and 19 after yesterday's pick with the Suns covering the spread against the Thunder. We get up to 30 and 19. That's a great record against the spread in our last 49 video picks. We didn't even need Kevin Durant as he suffered an injury in pregame. But we still were able to cover the spread. We're also sponsored today by No House Advantage Fantasy Sports Redefined, where you can bet on players over unders for a shot at 21 times your bet, or you can play in their pick'em contest against other players for cash prizes. Visit the link down below in the description. Use the promo code WNW for a first time deposit bonus of up to fifty dollars. So as I said, we're talking about the XFL. We have the Houston Rednecks on the road taking on the Orlando Guardians. These teams have met once already this season. And that was on the opening game back on February 18th. And the Houston Roughnecks were able to win 33-12. to Houston is 3-0 this season. Orlando has yet to pick up a win. They are 0-3 so far. And honestly, I do not see a scenario where the Orlando Guardians are going to be able to keep this game close. They are able to pick up yards as they are currently second in yards per rush. Uh, and they are moving, excuse me. Yes, they are that. They scored the fewest points, though, and are allowing the most. That means they are not doing too well. As you can see, and their offense is not scoring. There are three games this season. They have scored 12, 12, and 9 points. There has not been a game this season where Houston has scored under 20 points. I really think that when you have somebody like Brandon Silvers, who is doing very well, he is second in passing yards this season. 61 completion percentage, 7 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Brett Paxton Lynch who has thrown for, this is the fifth most yards, and he only has a 2-1 to one touchdown to interception ratio. You don't have that ability to really break out and have that option of just, hey, we can depend on our quarterback. Now, I just don't love this roster. I'm not going like, to dive into the names because, obviously, this is a brand-new league. It's a lot of people we don't know too much about we don't have a huge sample size on them in this league as a team as we've only seen three games so far but it is simple to know that the houston roughnecks well minus eight and a half are going to cover the spread that's all i have for you guys today make sure to leave a like comment subscribe if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next one